All right. This is how to get a feedback loop inside of Reason 5. All right, because there's a Reason 6 video on how to get feedback loops. But um, they're showing you effects that uh, don't come in Reason 5 and Reason 4 and whatever. So I'm showing you how to do it in Reason 5, but you could do it in... Um, in any reason, you could do this basically in any program as long as you follow the basic tips and instructions I'm, I'm about to give you. Um, this actually crosses over from my analog setup of how I got the idea to wire it this way and and whatnot. It's actually from my hardware setup. But um, starting off, just going to get a sound going, right? You can get any sound going. Then I'm going to get Matrix Sequencer just to play some notes. Yeah, so after that's gone, you need to get an idea in your head, basically, of how you want to loop your sound signal, because all you have to do is get your outs going to your ends, right? But you wanna have control over your sound. You wanna have flexibility. You wanna be able to sculpt your sound, all right? So this is just what I suggest, right? You get yourself. You hold shift, drag in the scream distortion. holding shift because we don't want it to auto wire up by itself we're going to drag in about five six two line mixers and why we use line mixers instead of the um the 14 two mixer for simplicity in this video but also in this 14 two mixer you have an eq you can turn on <clears throat> which sucks you never want to use the eq in this thing ever 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 right the eq i use in this program better than m class eqs better than the 14.2 and the peq is the vocoder eq you change the vocoder to equalizer up the bands and this it actually works as a final volume and a sculpting tool so I'm gonna have two of these in the mix one just to kind of tamper the volume off to something lower right the other one before that just to kind of sculpt our sound if we wanted to have more bass or, or whatnot right <clears throat> get rid of the 14-2 mixer and we're gonna get effects under all these I'm just doing the setup first so a unison holding shift dragging in a phaser and a delay right just work with three this is gonna this is gonna be enough for this video I'm trying to keep the video kind of short right we held shift when we drove drag these in because we didn't want it to go from the mixer send to the effect and from the output back to the return for the send that's how you normally do it if you want a clean sound right but for us we're going to actually go back into channel 2 on the mixer for each of these all right so from the send on the mixer not to the return just back to channel 2 baseline take it to the scream distortion that's like our first sound changer to the mixer channel one the output of that mixer to the next mixers channel one and so on right till you complete your chain 
Now we haven't cranked any levels and uh, these vocoder EQs actually been set low so we shouldn't get any loud sounds when we make our final connection. Just a muffled bass. Now we got those, the bottom ones for leveling off. Getting our volume low. This one is for more sculpt in the sound. And this last mixer channel, we're gonna turn that down too. Cause up here, we already got these wired up, right? The send for this top mixer is the unison. So our bass is coming through channel one. If we send that to the, the AUX end, that sends level to our unison. Our unison is outputting to channel two, which has its own AUX send level or knob. When you up this, it sends the output of channel two back to the unison, which sends it to channel two, sends it back to the unison. It's a loop, All right? So we're gonna crank it Hopefully it's not going to be too loud because we turn down the stuff later in the chain. Whoa. God damn. God. Turn it over to God. You hear that? Jesus. Oh my goodness. God. Let's turn that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what the phaser sounds like. So we crank that. I'm actually gonna turn down this master level mode. can see why I have these other mixers and such up under because once you get your feedback it's going to be screaming loud so you need multiple levels of being able to control that right just don't forget that that's the most important thing um was feedback is <laughs> not blowing your speakers and then everything else you can figure out on the way right so now i'm turning up the digital delay lines right then your knobs and your settings inside of your effects change your sound too right so i might turn down the delay feedback go back to the unison phaser that's the one that we hear right now and I'm gonna start messing with frequency hmm, wouldn't expect frequency to do that see what the split does hmm. try to with kills it guess you need the feedback for the feedback right but you see how all right i'm gonna bring up the digital delay messing with the knobs on your effects tweaks your sound but just not in the way you're used to it tweaking your sound That's basically feedback in a nutshell, right? Um, this right here is still, a, I would consider a semi-small setup, right? You should probably have more so, more so like six mixers with their effects, right? And um, we haven't even really got to play with the distortion. Uh -huh. 
And that's like for, for this setup, the distortion is the key because right after my sound source is going to the distortion. And then that's the sound that can be turned into a feedback loop, right? So it'd be completely different if you had a different effect up here. But yeah, that's feedback loops. Enjoy without blowing yourself up. Mm -hmm.